Hello. In this video, I'm gonna try to figure out the frequency of these unknown crystals using the Tiny SA spectrum analyzer. I already connected my SMA to alligator end cable over here. You need to have the ground cable connected together and the red cable is gonna go to each leg of the crystal you wanna test. What you're gonna be looking for is something that look like that and on the screen of spectrum analyzer you're gonna see a bunch of uh, frequency what we have uh, over here we have the essential frequency which is I'm gonna be using it's gonna be one megahertz and you're gonna see a lot of spikes and other frequencies showing out but what I'm looking for in particular is this type of frequency over here it has a peak in the middle and two equal peaks on each of the sides so you have one peak on the left and one peak on the right and the peak in the middle will be the resonance frequency of your crystal so if we zoom in at this we should see something that look like that basically the distance between the center peak and the two side peaks is going to be equal to the resonance frequency of the tiny SA generator and it's going to be one megahertz over here spaced and one megahertz over here we have the Tiny SA up and running and I'm gonna turn on the internal frequency generator and I'm gonna connect the two red wires together and you're gonna start seeing the frequency mod on the Tiny generator from the Tiny SA internal generator Go. I'm gonna zoom in for a minute I hope this stays in focus here we go so, I'm going to go to mode, we're going to have calibration output on, I'm going to choose 1 MHz as my output frequency, and the turtle low in. And as you notice, you're going to see the bunch of uh, fundamental frequency and bunch of harmonics. And right now, the start frequency from 5 MHz to 15 MHz, I'm going to put it on. I'm going to start from 1 MHz actually to 100. So 1 MHz start frequency. Start frequency is going to be 100. Okay. I do apologize for any reflection on the screen. Okay. So now we have this is the frequency generated with Tiny SA internal uh, frequency generator with no connection to the crystal or device under test. It's just connected directly through these two red wire, just basically like shorted. Okay, now uh, we're gonna put the, our device under test. So it's gonna be in this case one of these crystals. I do not know the frequency of this one. It's stamped on it, but I'm assuming that I don't know. All right, and this is how we're gonna test it. So I'm gonna hook it up to the first leg sorry for my hand in the way i'm working with behind the tripod it's really hard and it's already connected all right from this angle you might not see much but i can see i'm gonna try to zoom in more uh, it's going out of focus i'm sorry but i can see in front of my eyes on this long range i i'm looking for this spike that I showed you earlier in the beginning of the video so in my eyes I see it over here so I'm gonna reduce the start and span from the of the end of the frequency to a lesser value I have it right now from 1 megahertz to 100 megahertz so I'm gonna put the stop frequency right now at 30 megahertz maybe it would be more visible and this is what you need to do it's not actually helping a lot it does help at 30 megahertz I can see this is the frequency I'm interested in it has high peak in the middle two equal on the peaks on the side so I'm gonna bring my marker on top of it and I'm gonna see what is the resonance of this frequency then I'm gonna zoom in and get more accurate results 
it's not easy to detect but that's how it works so it's reading over here 9.9 .9 megahertz so I'm assuming this uh, crystal is gonna be 10 megahertz crystal I'm gonna zoom in more I'm gonna start at 4 megahertz I'm gonna stop at 12 megahertz and here's my marker over here I'm gonna start at 6 megahertz and I got my marker on top of that peak if you notice this other peaks they're not interesting because the peaks are higher on both sides and one short one in the middle what we're looking for is the highest peak in the middle and the two short one on the side so right now I'm reading 9.9861 megahertz so I'm gonna reduce the span of the I'm gonna center the frequency first center 9.9 .9 megahertz it's right now in the center I'm gonna reduce the span 4 megahertz so I can have more accurate reading span is gonna be 4 megahertz and here it is it's exactly 10 megahertz is 10.0038 megahertz so I'm gonna double check by checking the labeling on the crystal itself you cannot see it probably it's not in focus but it is indeed 10 megahertz so we're gonna test another one hopefully this thing stays in focus I'm gonna remove this crystal I'm gonna place it with another one then I'm gonna start all over I'm gonna start from 1 megahertz up to 50 megahertz and see what I get alright the crystal has been connected I'm gonna exit from here I'm gonna put start at 1 megahertz stop at I'm gonna let's say 80 for now huh here, here you go you, you, do you see that peak over here it's already it's more uh, rising above the noise line so I'm gonna bring my marker to that peak okay and it's measuring 48 megahertz okay so, so I'm gonna try to start at 40 megahertz 40 megahertz I'm gonna stop at 50 Oh, do you see where my, my frequency is? Where the marker is? It looks like the paper I showed you before. It looks like this. That's what we're looking for. I'm sorry, we zoom in. So, I'm gonna center it. Center at 48 megahertz. Here we go. I'm gonna put my span, four megahertz span and I'm gonna move my marker on the top of it and it's exactly 48 megahertz so double checking with my eyes let's see of course I'm sorry you cannot see it on the camera because my camera doesn't focus that well but it does indeed say 48 megahertz let's test another one and the last one I'm gonna test for today but at least you get the idea how it's done and it's really accurate as much as the tiny SA is accurate so the last one I'm gonna be measuring I already connected it to the red wires okay sorry I'm gonna go back also to start from 1 megahertz starting frequency and I already see it I don't know if it's visible on camera it's already here in this area so I'm gonna bring my marker back okay I'm gonna jump it to the highest peak in the middle so I get approx <coughs> sorry so I get approximate reading of the frequency and it's reading almost 10 megahertz so I'm gonna set my start frequency at 6 megahertz and I'm gonna stop maybe at 12 why not and I see my marker over here in the bottom I'm gonna bring it and I see the frequency I'm looking at the highest peak and the two lower peak next to it so bringing my marker up 
I'm going to center it at 10 megahertz, so it's in the middle of the spectrum analyzer. Okay, I apologize for the reflections, but that's how it is. And I'm going to bring my span to 4 megahertz, so more accurate. And you can see it a lot better now, and it is indeed 10 megahertz frequency. It's 10 megahertz crystal.